So I'm happy to announce the release of 0.8 XAPI, XAPI Lab 0.8. And with this release, we have a few new features. Um, most notably is an easier way to build a duration string. Because if you've looked at the ISO 8601 specification for durations, it looks a little confusing. But here, we can just go through and start building them based on years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And it puts together that lovely string for us. So we don't have to think too much about that. In addition, there's some statement properties. So you can timestamp your statements. Uh, pick the date. You can pick the time. And it builds all of this into the statement itself. You give it a statement ID before you send it to the LRS, and you can choose what version of XAPI you're using. Right. Also, you'll notice these little help icons. All these help icons will link you to the specific part of the specification that this tool is working with. Oh, you know, I didn't even notice that. Huh. Yep. So it makes it easier to understand what's going on in this whole GUI if you're not too familiar with the specification and the form doesn't do uh, a thorough enough job explaining it because the specification is pretty long, so it's a lot to digest. It's trying it to boil it down to a simple form, but it can't boil down everything. And as always, you can find the source for this on GitHub under the ADLNet um, organization, XAPI Lab. You can click on Release, and you can download the entire source code here, or you can use the live demo like I was doing here. Just click the live demo link. And go ahead and build a statement, send it off to RLRS or your own. That's pretty much it.